Hey guys, this is going to be a review on Wake by Lisa McMahon. Um, I have to say, I wouldn't recommend this book to anybody. Um, I wasn't personally a fan of it. Um, it's about this girl named Janie, and she's 17 or 16 around there. And since she was 8 years old, she's been able to go into somebody's dream. Like, if somebody's sleeping around her, she's able to go into their dreams. Not willingly, but she kind of is thrust into them. And it's basically her story about trying to figure out how to help the people that are having the dreams. Like, sometimes they have nightmares or something like that, and they need help. So it's kind of like a sixth sense in the way, um, that movie with um, the little boy in it. And... Um, it, it's a great idea, but I don't think it was executed correctly, and, um, like, it's like this kind of writing, and, um, I wasn't a fan of it so much, like, one part of it is Janie limps home, she ignores the barking dogs. I don't know, it, it didn't hold my interest very much, I only read it because I wanted to say that I finished it for my 50 book challenge, because I am kind of behind a little bit. So, um, this was basically just an easy read to kind of get another book out of the way. But, um, they have a sequel to this called Fade, and I don't think I'll probably be reading it unless somebody tells me that it's really good. Um, some people have said that this book was great. I didn't think so. So, um, sorry. Um, uh, it just wasn't very realistic. Um, there's a 19-year-old boy in here. This is a spoiler. And his name is, um, what's his name? God, I already forgot it. It's like Cable. That's his name, Cable. And it's, um, and he's like 19 years old, but he stayed back a couple of years for something like to bust. He's like a drug buster, and he's only 19, and he's like the talk of the town in his police department, and everybody loves him. And it's kind of like, okay, you're only 19, you know? I don't know. It wasn't very realistic, and I know books aren't supposed to be realistic they're supposed to take you somewhere else but I don't know it just it didn't do it for me this time unfortunately um, like I said the idea was great it just wasn't executed the way I think a book should be um, I'm sure she's a great author and if she's written anything else because I I do like kind of the style of her writing but I don't like that she has like five or six different sentences that are like fragment sentences and the grammar wasn't really correct in here and there's one part that actually has a misspelt word and um, I don't know like the pretenses are off sometimes and there's like fragment I don't, yeah, it wasn't very good for me um, like like when I closed the Hunger Games like after I closed the book I just closed it like then I just like I had to think about it like I didn't want it to end this book I closed it and then I immediately picked up my next book which is Jellico Road by the way so um, it wasn't a stunner for me what didn't do anything for me so I'm gonna rate it a 2 out of 5 stars because it wasn't horrible but it wasn't great either so that is my review and I have to announce something on December 8th I had a new nephew come into the world um, Noah Daniel and he was 5 pounds 12 ounces and he was 19 inches long so um, I was waiting for my sister to allow me to show a picture so I will right here and so yeah there he is he's such a cutie I wish I could meet him but I can't um, not for a while anyway so um, he looks just like my niece did when she was born so um, we're all very excited and we're happy that he's safe and he's okay because he was about three weeks early so um, he was he's doing fine and he went home today so we're very excited and happy for that it's a good Christmas gift but yeah so that is my review kind of um, if you guys want to read it you know knock yourselves out but I, I wouldn't waste my time on it personally but opinions are everywhere so take it for what you think it's worth so um, I finished that book and I'm on Jellico Road right now and I just checked my library status and I wanted to get The Mediator by Meg Cabot and the first book is called Twilight <laughs> and um, it's ready to be picked up so I'm probably going to get that tomorrow so I'm excited to start that one um, so yeah I hope you guys are having a great weekend night and I'll talk to you soon bye